We're going to be taking a tour of a duplex that you guys are going to have the opportunity to bid on. On top of that, you're going to get to see exactly what you're getting yourself into when you purchase one of these investment properties and you have to deal with an eviction. That's the topic of today's show. Let's dive in. real estate investors welcome to another episode of the investment properties for sale show i am your host james wise behind the scenes i've got my main man tommy bringing all the action to you today's show today's show is going to be pretty cool uh, we've got an investment property. The price is right. The numbers, they make sense. It's going to be um, <clears throat> something that a lot of you are going to want to buy. I anticipate a ton of offers on this. On top of that, one of the units, uh, we're taking a tour of it. We just evicted a tenant. Uh, we're going to go over the bid to actually get that thing rent ready. And, uh, you know, it'll provide some nice insight to all those investors out there who have maybe never actually owned rental properties or actually seen what a unit looks like after an eviction. There's no crazy shock value here or anything of that nature. It isn't like a horrible eviction. It's just, you know, nice educational piece to really show you what you're going to be, uh, you know, in store for when you become a landlord. But before we get into that property, what I want to talk to you guys about quickly is my new threads. As you'll see, I am wearing the new Slumlord hoodie available in the merchandise store on HoltonWise.com. Now, guys, don't get any ideas, though. The idea isn't for you to be out there being a slumlord. It's more of an ironic T-shirt. I know a lot of people out there refer to every landlord as a slumlord, so now you guys have the opportunity to make the joke, be part of the joke, let them know the joke's on them. We have this shirt and many other shirts available in our merchandise store. Uh, so for more on the apparel we are offering, click the links below. Without further ado, though, let's get into the investment property. 3482 West 118th Street, Cleveland, Ohio, 44111. Let's start off with some drone footage here. You guys can see the neighborhood. Solid neighborhood. For longtime viewers of Holton Wise TV, we have a ton of duplexes in this neighborhood. It's a C-class neighborhood. For those of you who have no clue what a C-class neighborhood means, no idea what I mean when I say that, in the show notes below, under all the awesome Holton Wise merchandise, you have the opportunity to click on the Ultimate Guide to Grading Cleveland Neighborhoods, which will show you every single neighborhood in our market graded on an A to F scale in relation to risk. So as you see this neighborhood, this is a C-class neighborhood, just a huge stock of duplexes. Now, this one, we got one of the units occupied. They are paying $700 a month. As you'll see from the footage here, this is the unit that we just evicted a tenant out of. Now, the unit itself is... It, 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 you know, when you see a unit like this, like a lot of people, they're not actually used to buying real estate where this is like what they see, right? They're used to everything being totally cleaned up and presented to you in this beautiful fashion, like, you know, wrapped with a bow on it, right? But that's not reality, right? That's not the actual life of a landlord. When you're actually in this game, in this business, doing this every day, uh, you know, you're going to encounter this stuff. This is what your units are going to look like when folks move out. Now, you know, this actually looks worse than it is. It's not the end of the world. You, you, we got crap all over the place. Uh, but there's no, like, extreme damage here. Yeah, we're going to spend a little bit of money cleaning it up, repainting it, making it look good. But, you know, I've, I've seen much worse. One thing I want to point out to you, you could see this in a couple rooms in this unit. You see these shitty little plastic blinds? A lot of people, when they're they're investing and they're becoming landlords, this is just a quick little pro tip for you guys. You don't need to supply these blinds because I'll tell you, anytime you supply these little blinds, this is what they look like when people move out. They're very easy to break. They just look like shit. So we don't actually supply those. So we're all we're just going to throw those out, and the next time they're going to have to buy their own pair uh, of blinds. So for all those investors out there who are handling property management on their own, I just want you guys to know, blinds, don't worry about buying blinds or window treatments. You do not need to buy them. They 
don't affect your rentability. It's just another item you'd have to purchase at the next turnover. So looking at the bid that I have put up on the screen for you guys, this is a full line-by-line -line bid. We are all about transparency here at Holton Wise TV. Real estate, it's tough, y'all. Sometimes there's issues, okay? I would never try to tell you guys there aren't issues. But what I will tell you is we know how to handle the issues, and we want to show you exactly what those issues are, and we want to be transparent to that notion. Here is literally every single dollar we are going to charge you to get this unit rent ready. $5,933. You can see exactly everything we're going to be doing there. Now, that $5,933 bid, y'all, that is to maintain our minimum rentability standards. Holton Wise, we will not put a subpar unit on the market. We do not put units on the market that have building code violations or are not going to meet all of the codified ordinances of our local municipalities. So $5,933 is what you're going to need to spend to get this sucker totally rent ready. In addition to that, we give you the opportunity to do premium upgrades. Now, my team, they put this bid together. If you do all of the premium upgrades to this unit and spend $2,000 in the basement uh, doing some work to dry lock that, your total cost would be $12,108. We are not saying you have to do that. Um, like the dry locking of the basement, you know, don't even consider that like necessary for the turnover. That's more or less like something that's just coming up that you should probably budget for in the next few years. Keep that basement nice and dry, but it doesn't have to be bone dry at this point in time because it's not living space, right? It's, it's just down there for storage and a place for them to do their laundry and to house the mechanicals of the home. But what I think is pretty darn important on uh, the premium upgrades if you maybe don't think you should put all the money into the premium upgrades or you don't want to do all the premium upgrades, if you're just going to pick and choose a couple, two that I think are the most important would be the kitchen, okay, $1,265. That's for us to do brand new flooring in that kitchen. I think that will look really good. Kitchens and baths sell homes, guys. Kitchens and baths, that's what rents homes. That's how you're going to keep tenants in there for long term. Now, what we're getting for units of this size in this neighborhood, we're getting $750 a month in rent right now. So it's not like um, if you don't do the premium upgrades or any of the premium upgrades, you're going to only rent it for like $600. I think we're going to pretty much hit $750 or very close to $750 no matter what. But what you want to do when you, when you think about if you should do these premium upgrades or not, you want to look at reducing your turnover costs, right? What reduces your turnover costs, of course, is the frequency of turnovers, right? You have fewer turnovers, you have fewer, fewer turnover costs. So if we make something super nice and we focus our efforts in the most important rooms of the home, the kitchen and the bath, those tenants are going to have a nice product. They're going to want to stay there longer. So I think twelve sixty five is a good amount of money to invest into this asset. You'll make up for it on the back end with fewer turnovers. Likewise, right under that, I think it's very important that you guys spend the $500 to do a new vanity in that bathroom. These are the things that the tenants are really going to notice, right? We're going to have fresh paint throughout the whole unit. Um, that's, so it's already going to look good, but you don't want to let them down when they go into that kitchen in the bathroom. So you definitely have to do the $5,933 worth of uh, renovations to hit our minimum standards. As far as which of the premium upgrades you do, if you can only do a couple, those are the two I would do first. After that, the other thing that I think is pretty important but not necessarily as important as those two is spending the $2,175 to um, <clears throat> refinish all of the hardwoods in that unit, get them looking super beautiful. But truth be told... I believe we could still probably get you a high-quality tenant in there without you spending that money. Up to you if you want to go above and beyond. But again, I can't stress this enough. I definitely think you got to do the floor in the kitchen, and you got to do the bath in the vanity. Now, to make an offer on this property, simply send my team an email, sales at holtonwise.com. You need to have your proof of funds or your pre-approval letters ready. Properties like this, guys, it's an $85,000 property, and we are going to be getting a market rent on this sucker of $1,500. The numbers speak for themselves, so I'm probably going to have multiple offers. Now, 
truth be told, right, we got the other tenant in there. You know, that tenant has been there for a while. They're paying 700 Don't think that the moment you buy it, we're just going to automatically increase that tenant's rent 50 bucks. That wouldn't make any sense. Uh, they have an active lease. When that lease expires, we try to do annual rent raises. The idea is not to shoot them right to market every single time you get a turnover. The idea is just to slowly, incrementally uh, increase it. And then whenever you do get a natural turnover, a natural vacancy, you fix up the unit as nice as possible, and then you go right to the top of the market to get a new tenant in there. But you don't want to artificially convince someone to move out by jacking their rent up too high. I know you're watching this, and you're like, 50 bucks a month, dude. That's like no money. What are you talking about? 50 bucks a month uh, to people in this demographic. I'm not saying it's like... Uh, like you know a huge portion of their income but like it matters to these kind of folks the kind of folks that are living in spaces like this with their budgets they notice that fifty dollars a month guys so when you're running your your numbers and you're looking at your spreadsheets don't always just assume that like putting more money on the top end coming in is automatically going to increase your net return sometimes it could lower it because you're making a decision that's going to lead to another turnover and we got to reduce those turnover guys those premium upgrades i told you about you know the ones i told you you got to do you got to do the kitchen you got to do the bath why it's not to increase a couple bucks a month in monthly rent it's to reduce your turnovers that is your biggest killer you don't want to have a freaking five thousand nine hundred dollar turnover every two years if you could do that every four years instead of every two years look how much money you're saving so much more than those little amounts of rent so with that existing tenant what we want to do, let them write out their lease, and then we go for a lease renewal. We'll do a small rental increase. And just note that whenever that unit does go totally vacant, we'll do a renovation. We'll put premium upgrades in there. We'll make it look nice. And then we'll get you $750 there. So that'll be $1,500 a month in rent, all for an investment you could buy for $84,900. That's why you got to have your proof of funds and your pre-approval letters ready when you email my team at sales at holtonwise.com because we're going to get a bunch of offers on this. We always do. The duplexes, they're what flies here on Holton Wise TV. So I need you ready. If you don't have lenders yet, you haven't been pre-approved by any lenders, that's cool. Just when you shoot us the email, let us know you need our list of lenders. We'll get it to you. They're writing loans to investors in all 50 states. These are good loans. These are not like adjustable rate interest loans or hard money loans or anything of that nature. These are fixed interest 30-year loans. All you're going to need to do is put down 25%. They will loan you the other 75%. You can get up to 10 of those loans, guys. What I recommend you do, though, that first one should be your own personal home. You always got to take care of home base first. But that will lead you with nine of these loans you buy nine duplex that is 18 income checks coming into your pocket every single month that is how you build financial freedom before i let you go a couple things again my shirt the slumlord shirt i don't want you out there trying to be a slumlord guys it's kind of an ironic joke if you like this shirt or you just want to check out what else we got we got a lot of stuff available for real estate investors so click the link below to get yourself some of our merchandise because I love y'all, because you're this far into the show, I'm going to go ahead and give you a coupon code right now. Punch in the promo code HWTV10 and get yourself 10% off on me. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy to use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. For property managers, you get advanced features like simplified owner distributions, automated management and placement fees, an owner portal, plus the software is certified for trust accounting. 
All this comes backed by the highest rated customer support team in the industry. Certified by third parties and ranked number one by our clients year over year, you get unlimited free access to our U.S.-based support team by phone, email, and chat who will help you getting started or anywhere along the way. Cleveland, Ohio is widely considered to be one of the top rental markets in the entire United States. This is because here in Cleveland, our housing prices are low and our rental prices and demand are high. At Holton Wise, we provide the complete turnkey solution for all real estate investors, whether they are local, out of state, or even abroad. As real estate brokers, we will provide you with agent representation to help you buy properties ranging from single family homes to large apartment complexes. We even have referrals for lenders who can provide investment property loans to investors located in all 50 states, allowing you to capitalize on the use of leverage or other people's money. We have referrals to top-notch title companies so you know that all of your transactions are safe and secure, with every single property being delivered to you with clear title. Once you close on the property, we have an investor-focused insurance brokerage who can handle all your property insurance needs. This insurance brokerage handles auto, home, life, and business policies, but they specialize in working with policies for landlords. We also have full service property management. We can handle all rental property advertisements, tenant placement, rent collection, evictions, maintenance, landscaping, construction, and repairs. In addition, Holton Wise also offers digital media and education. One day, when you are ready to sell your investment, Holton Wise, as the number one seller of investment properties in the greater Cleveland area, can market your property in a video, just like this one, to our worldwide base of investors who are looking to capitalize on the high cash flow opportunities in the Cleveland, Ohio market. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.